Hi, my name is Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Uh, if you saw yesterday's pour, it was this. It was a ribbon pour. I think it turned out really nice. It dried nice. Today, I want to do a, I don't know, a straight pour, fantasy type pour. I got a bunch of colors down from my shelf that are left over. And I love playing with leftover paint. Let's see. Now, I'll be able to tell you probably as I go, uh, all my paints are always uh, always one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And then for this pour, if you leave a trace on top, it lasts about almost three seconds. I'm going to start with a little bit of white. That's Amsterdam titanium white. Some yellow. I like yellow in the center of my straight pores. Let's see, just a little bit more yellow. Uh... I have a, that's Permanent Magenta by Windsor Newton. Do I want that or the red? I want the red. This is Pyro Red by Liquitex. And I'm gonna go. Actually, I've got a. I found a, a red orange, which I think is an artist loft vermilion. No, we don't want to do that. Let's do the magenta. Do a little bit of white. And some of this orange, vermilion. All right. Let's see, let's put a little bit more yellow right here. And this is Cyan Blue by Amsterdam. Let's see, I have a couple of greens here, including a turquoise. This here is a permanent green light by Windsor Newton. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do the, I have a turquoise blue. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, well, I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> uh, Liquitex possibly. Looks nice next to that permanent green light. All right. Now, this here is either bright aqua green. No, this is a Viridian by Master's Touch. And what do we got? I got another blue here. This is an Ultramarine by Windsor Newton. All right. Now I may spin, so I really have no plan. Except to have fun. <laughs> All right. Let me put some gloves on. And we're going to pour straight down in the center. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do a straight pour or wandering straight pour. Maybe a straight pour turned into a ring pour. I'm not sure. I just wanted to put all these nice colors together. All right.
Here's our yellow. Our first color in was a white. I'm looking for that. I have my windows open in my studio today. It's beautiful. Oh. Need a little drop. No, I like that. The yellow surrounding the pyro red. The orange and the combination of cyan and viridian. Pretty. I wandered off a little bit. All right. For this, I'm going to need a flow extender. And I have one here. It's table scraps. And it doesn't matter what color this is. It's going to go over the side. You need a flow extender so your puddle has something to slide on. Without it, it'll just curl underneath. It's a really dark gray color. There's one from, what was that? It was an open cup a few days ago. Should I swipe through it or wreck it? I have this cake decorating tool. I've been thinking about wrecking something with. Or we could swipe. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Through there. Yeah, let's swipe it. Now I'm swiping with Amsterdam titanium white and uh, Aussie Floatron.
That's pretty. Should we do another one? Or maybe through here? I think I want to go through there. I just spread the paint on the back of my palette knife. I like to use my stick for that. You want an even coating. Hmm. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. You can see all the lines and the colors in order. Hmm. Through here. third one. Do we need a third one? Like, like right through here? Yeah, why not? Cool. As you can see, probably, I haven't swiped much, so don't have a lot of practice. Oh, that's cool. You can see all the colors in the cells. All right. Now we stretch this thing out. I like it. I like it. Let's see where the weight of the paint is. Okay. Give it a spin to spread it out here. The center is beautiful. Okay. Center the paint. I'm going to bring it down to your corner just a little bit. Get the weight of the paint there. And centrifugal force from the uh, spinner will take it off more there.
Now we're going to take more off that end. So I'm going to move it, the canvas a little further in that direction. Almost. Cool. All right, I'm going to give it another spin. Hopefully we can get it off of that corner. If not, we'll have to patch it up. I could have used just a little more paint. Oh, I think we got it now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Ring the little bell if you want to get notified next time I upload. I'm going to take my gloves off, give this a final torch, and then I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. It's pretty. Always scrape the bottom edge of your canvas. And then come back and check it every once in a while for an hour, hour and a half. Make sure your canvas is always level. These drips will pull paint down from your composition. All right. I'm gonna get the camera and bring you down. Yeah, I think this is gorgeous. I was worried about making mud, but all the colors, you can see all the colors underneath, they, they haven't got smushed into the other color. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> you see, you can see the red through here and the turquoise. Beautiful. And I think the composition is this way. Yeah, I like that. The center is beautiful. That, just that little bit of white really helps to add some dimension. Thank you for stopping by. Come back and see me again. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.